Right, so that's how we derive the binomial coefficients. But the next question is, can we generalize the binomial coefficient? Um, how to generalize it? Uh, so in what sense? Let's see that in this question. A group of 12 friends wants to play a game with four three-person teams. How many possible arrangements of these teams? So I have uh, a population of 12. Dot, 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 up to 12 people. And I would like to distribute these 12 people into three-person teams. So I will have team one, team two, team three, team four. Okay. Um, now I'm not choosing a single group of K out of N, I want to select a number of groups. This is the generalization. Now, for instance, I can put here one, four, 11, and I can put here three, five, six, and here two, uh, eight, and 12. And what's left should be here. And that is seven, nine, and 10. Okay, so this is one distribution. The question is, how many such distributions can I have? Now, obviously, within the teams, the order is not important. So this is not 1, 4, 11 specifically. I can also write this as 4, 11, 1, etc. The order inside the team is not important. And not only that, but also I can assign this to be team number 2 and team number 1. That's also not important. Okay? So... Uh, this could have been instead of this seven, nine, ten, and this could have been two, eight, and twelve. So the naming of the teams is also not important. What is important here is the distribution of the groups. So we are going to apply um, the approach we used with combinations, but we are going to use an iterated approach here because I have uh, a number of groups to select. So let me erase uh, all these. Okay, so I have 12 people to distribute into uh, um, four teams. What I do is in my first step, first of all, I select the three people to go into team one and the remaining should go into not team one. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting three out of 12 to put in the first team. And I can do that obviously in 12 choose three ways. And clearly the remaining nine is going to be on not team one. So essentially I'm building two teams here in my first step. And uh, that's team number one and the rest. And this I can do in 12 choose three ways. Um, a reminder here, uh, I think most of you would recall that binomial coefficients has the property of being n choose k equal to n choose n minus k. And that's very logical, why? Because here, for instance, I'm selecting three people to put into team one and I can do this in 12 choose three ways. But at the same time, instead of choosing that three, I could have selected the nine to leave out. So that should have the exact same number of ways to, to be done. So that should be 12 choose nine, and essentially that should be equal to 12 choose three. Okay, so that's a detail I'm assuming most of you uh, already know. Now, that was the first step. I have established one of the groups. Now, I have nine people here, and I want to distribute them into the remaining three groups. And from this, I would like to select team number two and not team two. Okay, the same goes here. To select three people to go into team number two, I can do that in nine to three ways. Okay. And the remaining six people here, I want to distribute them into 
team number three and not team three, but not team three will automatically mean team number four. And I can do this in six, choose three ways because I have six people remaining. And among them, I would like to select without order and repetition, three people. Okay, so the answer is 12 choose three, nine choose three, and six choose three multiplied. In fact, the remaining three people will go to team number four. Since it's obvious there is only a single choice here, we didn't write it, but you can, theoretically speaking, you can write this as three choose three. That's already one, but to be complete, we can also include a three choose three here. Okay, so another example, when the teams are not balanced, what if I need three teams of size two, four, five out of 12? And with this scenario, you see um, one person is going to be left out. So I have three teams out of 12. Let's select team number one and the remainders. So team number one, I would like to select two people and that I can do in 12 choose two ways. Now the remainders, are 10 people and out of them i would like to select team number two and again the remainders team number two consists of four people and i can choose that team in 10 choose four ways and remaining people are six and out of those six i would like to select five people and i can do that in six choose five ways again the remainder is just a single person, and that's that would be one choose one, which is already one. So the total number of uh, such assignments would be 12 choose two, 10 choose four times six choose five. And this we call multinomial coefficients. Now recall the combination that was binomial coefficients because you are actually selecting two teams, the group you select and the group you leave out. Here you are selecting K teams and the generalization goes here, the number of ways to partition a set of size N into S subsets of sizes K1 through K sub S where their total number makes up N is given here. Okay, and if you combine this with our examples, for instance, selecting two, four, and five out of 12 was 12 choose two, 10 choose four, and six choose five. And if you actually expand this, that's 12 factorial over two factorial, 10 factorial, 10 factorial over four factorial, six factorial, and six factorial over five factorial and one factorial, right? Now you see this cancel out and these cancel out. What is left is 12 factorial divided by two factorial, four factorial, five factorial and one factorial, right? Now this is uh, not coincidental, of course, because this is given here and you can write this as uh, n choose k1 times n minus k1 choose k2 times n minus k1 minus k2 choose k3 and so on right uh, and when you expand this what you get is going to be this n factorial here and the remainder here well one, one factorial appears here because all of them together makes the total number of uh, items which is 12 in our example but in a general sense, you can distribute K1, K2, dot, 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 K sub S items um, out of a population of K1 plus K2 plus dot, 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 plus K S uh, items in this many ways. N factorial divided by the product of K sub I factorials. 